So as a kid, I didn't really know how many things were illegal. Like I truly never intended to do anything bad. I'm talking like ages like nine to 15 in these cases. And if, if someone had told me to just stop doing that, I would be like, well, why? But once they explained to me that it's illegal and why it's illegal, I would have been like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll stop. But I just didn't know. <laughs> no one ever told me, I guess. So I want to do a video about it because I've recorded like everything I've done and most of this stuff I have on video. Some of it's public, a lot of it's private, but I've got it. And the statute of limitations in North Carolina for misdemeanors is two years. And these were many years ago, some as old as 10 plus to 12 years ago. So. I started compiling a list. I was like, well, should I talk about the unlicensed driving, the destruction of property, the illegal trapping, the illegal dumping, operating motorized vehicles on restricted land, openly carrying deadly weapons as a minor, trespass. Like there's a lot to pick from. <laughs> and it's okay, that sounds, that sounds so bad. But like, let me explain one. So illegal dumping. When I think of that, I think of like some lazy guys dumping their couches on like into a lake or something. But in my case, I was like 13 and I would have truckloads of leaves and branches and sticks. And I was like, what am I gonna do with all these? Well, there's nature everywhere. So I just drive down the road and scoop it out and leave it. Little did I know that it's illegal to put anything, specifically things that you're throwing away, even if it's natural materials onto someone else's property. I didn't really understand the concept of private property. <laughs> so basically, I never, I never. <sighs> so today, I wanted to just, let's just start chill, okay? Because I have some videos about bushcraft and I really liked bushcraft. I would watch other bushcraft channels. I didn't know that those channels were doing things with permission and with expertise because I was just doing stuff like this. I need my earbud. Hey, I'm Alex Green, and in today's video, I'm going to be... <sighs> okay, so this is from 2015, uh, called Finding Natural Tinder. I really liked fire. I don't know, fire's cool. Was I an arsonist? No. I wasn't. Why? I feel like you don't believe me. Like, I never wanted to burn anything of value. I never wanted to burn anyone's property. I just liked fire. I liked starting fire. I need to stop talking. All right. Trying a natural tinder. So I've done a few <laughs> other videos um, about fire making and stuff, but to start the fires, I usually use um, unnatural materials like lint. So in this one, I'm going to try and collect tinder from this area I'm in, uh, which it's a, a little chunk of evergreen forest. Uh, there's like the occasional yeah. so it's a little chunk of evergreen forest which i did not have permission to be on this was in the middle of the summer it was very hot and very dry well, um hardwood tree like i see a few oak trees from here and stuff uh but uh evergreen forests have a lot of good materials for fire making so i'm going to <laughs> everything in this shot looks highly flammable <laughs> There's dead pine trees, there's dried out trees there, and there's just pine needles absolutely everywhere. Try that and see how well it works out. Okay, so the first tree right here, uh, this is a cedar, and as you see, this stuff right here is very flaky, and, and uh, it comes off very easily, and since it's so dry, um, I feel like it should light well, so I'm just going to scrape a little bit off. The next thing I'm collecting is very... I feel like I look the exact same. Have I grown at all? I even sound the same, pretty much. This was seven years ago. Almost exactly. It's currently June 12th. Oh, in a week, this will be seven Temple years ago. all over the place, and that is uh, pine straw, because it is wow. extremely dry. Pine straw. So basically, I'm trying to find natural tinder, which is, well, th th the material you use to start the fire, because normally I'd use artificial materials, and I was like, that's lame. I want to be a real bush crafter. I'm going to do it all natural with um pine needles to begin with i did why did this not, did it not go through my head that i'm about to light a fire using pine needles as tinder when i'm literally it's all pine needles everything around me is pine needles and um it usually and there's a spider on me so i'm just gonna take a bit of that okay so here's the cedar tree right here and i'm not why sure. do i have a mustache why is my lips so dark 
I've never been able to grow a mustache. I guess this is how manly I was when I was doing bushcraft videos, is I could just grow facial hair on command. It's pretty dry. I think most of these uh, lower branches are dead. So I'm just gonna take some of the little, I don't know if you'd call these leaves or not, but just little uh, bits of things. So it should start coming together for me that everything is dry. Cause every time I check anything to see if I can use it as a fire starter, I'm like, hmm, this is dry. Oh, this is also dry. Oh, the ground is dry too. The things around me are dry. Everything is dry. I could use this all to make fire. On the end, and that might help. Okay, so I moved out to this area, which is Oh just... my God, there's a field in the entire, at least it's green. I'm guessing because I, it was green. I was like, you know what? Fireproof. A few dozen feet from where I just was collecting the tinder. And uh, there's a lot of different dead uh, plants that are around this dry area. And you can see some directly behind me. I'm gonna try and collect some of those. It's the final thing to the tinder bundle, and then I'll try it out. I'm getting anxious, and this was seven years ago. It's already happened, and it's just stressing me out. Okay, so uh, right here, I just cleared out all of the uh, <clears throat> other flammable things away from the area. <laughs> I, I, I cleared everything that was flammable. There is no more flammable materials in my vicinity, Just everyone. In case, uh, I don't know, it gets out of hand, but it really shouldn't because it's. In like... case it gets out of. Wait, let me hear what exactly I'm going to say. Uh, I don't know, it gets out of hand, but it really shouldn't because it's a very small bundle. In case it gets out of hand, but it really shouldn't. So I was considering, I knew that things could get out of hand, but it shouldn't because it's a small bundle. I'm pretty sure every fire starts from a small bundle of flames. I don't think any fire ever started big. I think they gr I think they start small. But, believe it or not. Uh, now I'm going to wow, just look get at all the materials together and make a new bundle and try lighting it. See, so here's all the different things I've Music's picking up. Kind of wrapping it all together into a bundle, and then I'll try and light it from the middle. This I don't even feel like I have any like tinder tinder. It's all just like leaves and sticks. But I feel like this would be, that would be just the small, like, growing bits. I forgot the terminology. It's, this is probably the last time I've done any bushcraft, but you, I feel like you need something, like, softer and lighter. But let's find out. Right here is, um, I still have that, by the way. Steel, so I also that's... still have that, um, that knife that I showed earlier. This knife is, like, nine years old. It's looking pretty rough, but it's holding in there. Thank you, Norway. Very cool. The flint, that's the steel, and then the straight thumb. And make a spark. Okay, so here that we go. spark, my adrenaline gets going every time I uh, spark it up. Straw, uh, some dead I like my little it. band, my little uh, my NC Nature News armband. I think I sold those for like two dollars each. Why did anyone buy those? Cedar and things like that. So I'll see if it works. I'm just gonna. Also, the shoes. Sorry, I, I keep. This isn't related, but those were some good shoes. They were waterproof. And they lasted me. So this was in 2015. I met Alice in 2019. And like the first thing she said about me or noticed about me was how God ugly my shoes were. And it was these shoes. <laughs> she didn't tell me that to my face. She told me later. But yeah, she harassed my favorite pair of shoes. They saw a lot of things like this sure fire. This is, I didn't even clear it. Look, yeah, oh God. I really don't know what my thinking was. I'm gonna try, I was gonna try and figure it out. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I think you gotta like grind, like you gotta like, you gotta, you gotta grind her on the tinder. You just, I'm doing it too slow, I feel. Am I out of breath? Is that how weak I am? I got out of breath from going. Here with lint. I've never done this, so. Here with lint. I've never done this before. I'm a bushcraft master and I've never used I leaves to start a fire. Like a bit more fluffy, like there's um, seeds on the end of some plants. Okay, so yeah, I kind of okay. realized that it's not really a tinder. I need some actual soft stuff. There's seeds on the That looks the same. Right Seeds. I think I meant the little, yeah, yeah, the little. This, I did not clear it at all. Look at how much. Okay, so 
Okay, so the seed's lit, but it went out. I just finally started adding subtitles. It's so quiet the whole video. And I added subtitles for that, and that was it. Okay, hey, look at that. It's so on fire, as is my shoe. Definitely harder than Believe it or not, I never burned myself too badly. I did this all by hand. I never used gloves or anything, but I don't recall ever getting any bad burns. Maybe I was just that bad at starting it. fires. And there it goes. It is so windy. You can literally hear it on the microphone. So I, I do kind of remember, I didn't really think about embers, which is, you know, a material on fire that goes whoosh, or ash. The stuff that goes into the air i was just like well if it's gonna spread it's gonna spread on the bottom it's not like wildfires have anything to do with the fire in the air i'm just gonna let that burn right there uh but it, it took longer but these uh, natural things right here did work it's so windy look it's about to burn that <laughs> you yeah, can't even see the smoke there's so much burn. wind so, okay, uh, there's some smoke. Like you can find pretty natural things pretty easy. That is so dry that I, I'm pretty certain I didn't actually cut out any footage in this video. I think I just sped some bits up, and you could see how quickly that burn. just completely so, burned away. Uh, it it was like so you dry. You can find pretty natural things pretty easily. Um, and yeah, I really, really wasn't sure if it was going to work. Okay, uh, you can put it out now. It. You got your point so across. I'm screen, and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna step on it. Yep, I'm gonna step on it. I kicked it. I didn't step. I kicked the fire. Yeah, it was. It what? Really wasn't it, was I scared? Of, I thought it was gonna work. As much as I remember, I wasn't really scared of fire, but I just went. Eh, um, I just kicked I it instead it. of stepping I'm on it. Screen, and thanks for watching. All right. Let's see, there's a little. Okay. All right. I haven't seen this in a long time. Please, please, do not I don't have anything. I didn't bring any water. Okay. That was it. The only water I put was that little sprinkle. Thank you for watching. Follow us at NC Nature News. Yeah, good. Good times. Supportive comments. I responded to most of them. Yosemite Bear said, that's why I always stick a bick in my pocket. He has a point, I guess. Well, it wasn't, it, it could have been worse. I, it went, it went exactly as I planned. And I guess the thing is every time I did anything risky, most of the stuff I did that was bad endangered myself or I'm kind of surprised I'm alive. The way I would drive different vehicles through different areas, the way I would play with fire, the way I would trespass on other people's property and not get shot by them. Like everything always pretty much went exactly as I expected. And so I think I just built this confidence over time of, well, my last plan worked out. So now let's do it again. Now let's do it bigger. Now let's go out further. Now let's go to this other property and go herping without permission. It, it was, like I said, it was always innocent things in my view. I always had good intentions. It was always to either learn, have a good time or make some content. And <laughs> yeah, it just, nothing ever went severely wrong like i don't i don't think a fire ever got out of hand i i mean i've like tipped some vehicles i've lost control of vehicles i've like crashed some vehicles like nothing not like just you know golf carts go-karts bikes lawnmowers nothing horrible and i never i don't know I don't, I'm not trying to justify it. I'm just, I guess I'm trying to explain why I was doing these things. This one was pretty innocent, but ultimately there's nothing crazy I could show you. However, if you want more of my things that I did as a kid, but couldn't, shouldn't have done, and especially can't like even probably get away with as an adult. Like the fact that I was, yeah, I started doing this around like eight to nine and stopped when I was a teenager, definitely pay, played to my benefit. Cause I got caught doing these things many times, but ultimately they saw it was a kid doing this dumb thing and they told him to go frig off and do something else. <laughs> but if it was a 22 year old doing them, I don't know if 
they would have just let me go like that. So that's that. Let me know what other things you want from the list for me to show and or talk about. But that'll be it. <laughs> I'm Alex and I don't know if I'm posting this. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.